Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the drop. Hope you're all having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin markets today. Today, <laughs> we're going to be going through the short term, the mid term, the long term for Bitcoin and some Ethereum stuff at the end as well, because we know you like the Ethereum at the end of the day. OK, we do know that. All right, we do know that. So starting with what's happened here with Bitcoin, we have had a little bit of a girthy dub towards the downside, completely playing out this measure move uh, as, well, exactly, as predicted or whatever, right? <laughs> uh, and yeah, we have come up as well um, with a little test of the 55, and it does look potentially like we could break through this, but what I will say here is, uh, when, as, as I always say, right, when we do smash through moving averages like this, it's, it can often be a trap, so we've got to be careful of that. Uh, again, that's pretty much it, right? We're still in the chop. The big chop here coming through. Uh, and if we want to get the guap, we got to get out of the chop as we know, right? So we need to get over that 60k zone. Uh, but overall, this is tradable if you are like more of an experienced trader, uh, a more advanced style. But if you are newer to the markets, guys, it's best to just leave this, I would say, for now. Uh, but in terms of predictions, right? Because that's what you come here for at the end of the day, right? You're coming here for the predictions. What we can say here is, uh, yeah, pretty much the same as yesterday. If we can get over 58, uh, that's going to be a bit better here uh, we could also draw another measure move now uh, based on the fact that this one's played out so we can get rid of that dirty get off my screen uh, and then we can we can basically see what correlates here right so in terms of correlations and um, we if we want to go from like the the lows of the candles here the candle close lows here uh we could probably say something like this of, of a channel of sorts here but it's not great okay i'm gonna be honest here and just say this isn't great okay this isn't something that's good uh so what i'm gonna do here uh, that that works okay based on this high this low and this would just be a trap so we could just have that in there uh, and, and draw a little trap zone on there as well and see if if that works out let's see if that works out right here let's just see if that works yeah it does work out as a nice trap zone as well right so uh, we do have a little channel here uh, this would be as confirmed as you could get really uh, in a choppy zone like this so what i will say is measure moves right if we're looking for measure moves here on the short term if we do break out basically above that 58.6 58.7 zone and it's not a trap here <laughs> and it's not a trap and again this this is such a trappy zone this is why i'm not uh, happy trading this and uh, i wouldn't advise you guys to right um yeah, I mean, uh, that measure move will be up to 60k. That will be up to the volume weighted ACR band. So there is still potential here to come up. Uh, and we did say, right, we said literally when we were up here, if you are, like, familiar with the channel, you guys know this, right? If you are new, uh, welcome, welcome, right? <laughs> Just welcome here. Um... But yeah, those of you that are regulars here will know that I said, yeah, even though we're up at 60k at the moment, it's quite likely that we came down and tested at least either this trend line here, which still hasn't been tested, so that's still an anvil hanging over us, right? Or come down, tap the volume weighted ATR band, tap 55k, uh, and uh, basically just bounce off that zone, make a nice uh, bigger pattern here, as we'll talk about when we get to the midterm. But in conclusion here for the short term, guys, essentially yeah if we get over that 50 basically 59k i would look for right if, if, if we're looking for basically the least trappy scenarios here if we get over 59k then that's going to be better and we can look for a potential move up to 60 okay uh but again i'm not really looking for a trade until we really break over 60 and even then i'm still a little bit like hmm are we gonna, mm, is it mm, i don't know man uh, so yeah look into the the the, the midterm here actually just before we do that uh we should talk about if we do trap here and come down right so if we do come down we're looking to a essentially lose the volume weighted ACR band now uh, and that would be at 54.8 and if that does happen guys um it's pretty bad okay <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad here and uh yeah don't take that lightly because this is a pretty serious matter here because the measure move on that actually does bring us pretty perfectly down to this trend line okay pretty perfectly down to 52 which is a trend line that we should probably test here uh considering we got big baps big baps big chicken mcrap baps off of this trend line before we actually broke down from it right uh so retesting that would be appropriate uh so yeah we can still trap that is still a possibility just be careful out there in the streets trap in here 
be careful. Because, uh, yeah, that, that is still a possibility, right? Uh, that's pretty much it. We're in this channel. If we break over 59, yeah, potential to come up to 60. If we break down below 55 here, pretty bad pretty bad time here and we could probably come down to 52 and that's pretty much the conclusion for today if we're looking at the longer term if we're widening this scope right now um we can look at this right uh yes we're still in this pattern you guys know my plan i'm looking to get over fi uh, basically 68 here uh by well it's the eighth now so potentially we could come up uh, from here quite easily right but um that was the prediction we said, right? We said we could mess around, go up and down sideways, throw your legs over your shoulder until the 8th or the 9th, and then come up from that point. And if that does happen, it's not just this trade we're looking for. We know this, right? You guys have seen this. I don't want to be too repetitive of this. We get over the volume weighted ATR band. We get in a, a nice long. We make girthy gains here if it, if it looks healthy, right? That's the plan, okay? Uh, and, and that's proved to be good in the past, and it, it should be good in the future as well, right? Uh, it's the same for every asset with this indicator. It just works, right? So uh, what we're looking for, here in terms of the next big juicy chicken McNugget pattern coming through here uh, is that ascending triangle we were talking about right uh, and that has turned out to play out pretty nicely okay pretty nicely pretty nicely and I did get a few comments saying like Hamilton you're like a profit or whatever and I'm not I'm not that like we could have easily just broken up here and it would be fine okay the point is that we're saying three probable scenarios here um and then we're going to react to them appropriately. And, and all, all you need to do for that is basically just filter out the things that are quite unlikely to happen. Uh, or the things that people aren't really expecting as well. Uh, and also filter out future patterns as well, right? So if we're coming up here for like 15, 20% or however much it was here, guys. Uh, let's just say from this bottom, right? Um, we come up 16% and you guys are saying, we're, well not you guys, but some people are saying like, hey, we're, we're going up to like, we're going up another 20% from that, right? And uh, it's just not it's not sustainable to do that um the, the the market makers wouldn't make money if that was the case right so what's going to happen here is yeah you can expect a pullback after an uptrend of 15 percent here okay uh so yeah that pullback was kind of something we were expecting and it's something that yeah i'm not predicting the future here it's just common sense at the end of the day where yeah we've had a massive uptrend uh momentum slowing down some spillover here makes sense okay it really does uh and that is a, that is what's happened and with that spillover we can then plot that ascending triangle here which is pretty much on the dot here on that 200 as well on the mid time frames so yeah uh, we do have a potential measure move here if we do just head up from here uh, which is quite it's fairly possible now uh, if we do do that uh, we could essentially get over the 60k barrier and then this is actually looking like a fairly healthy trade towards the upside okay so if that is the case here we could look at a potential six percent trade here and obviously we do have that measure move in now and yeah that measure move will just be from one side to the other of the most recent wave so if we do head up here and maybe have a little more one more little pullback a little trap here around 59 and then bang it up from that point if it looks good we can get in a trade there, get in a nice juicy long, and make the girthy gains here. It's all about making money. Make money here, right? That's what we're after. So, uh, yes, this is turning out to be a pattern which uh, is looking pretty good here. It's looking pretty fine. And one thing you can look at here uh, towards the future on the 4-hour is going to be this trend line as well. That's going to be important. If we get over there, it's not confirmed. Obviously, we want to get over the horizontals here. But uh, that's going to be a little indication that, hey, if we get over there, so similar to like we did with Ethereum the other day, right? Uh, what, what can we say here? If, if we are, oh, no, I got rid of the, uh, I think I got rid of the, the actual pattern but we had a, a thing here uh, that basically we got over and it was exactly the same pattern here you can see that right uh, so if something like that happens again with bitcoin uh, it's pretty much a similar thing here where yeah uh, it's not confirmed that we're breaking out but it is a hint to be ready for one okay so if we do basically just grind up here and then we get into this zone and it looks good and, and it looks healthy uh, then yeah a breakout there is probably uh, expected and we can uh, potentially make some uh, girthy gains coming through here right i should talk about the downside as well here for the mid because we could get some uh, juicy chicken nugget crashes here as well. Big megalodonithic crashes here towards the downside. Potentially, as we said before, 51.8 uh, being a prominent area to watch. And what do you know here? That's essentially where this trend line is as well. Still an anvil hanging over us, okay? So be careful of that. Uh, if we do just dwarf it and we do just head up to 60k from here, uh, I would just kind of dismiss this and say, hey, it's probably not likely we come down and, and smash that yet. Uh, or at all really maybe we just go up from there but uh, it is something that you need to be prepared for for every scenario in a non-biased trader way all right that's all i'm saying there long term here for bitcoin it's pretty much a similar scenario here we are on this kind of bigger triangle as well but 
really guys it's the same as the midterm here where we've got this ascending triangle uh, kind of poking through now and it's looking a lot more prominent here as a pattern so um yeah, if that does happen, I mean, yeah, we've still got that 55k uh, potential. It would be better if we did come down and close a candle at 55k today. But uh, again, if we do just bang up from here, not a problem. The on-chain looks good for Bitcoin. Okay, people are buying. They're taking uh, Bitcoin off exchanges for the long hodl here, the big whale boys. So, uh, yeah. I would just say here, to head up from here is absolutely plausible, but uh, just be careful, right? Because we are on Thursday, nice thirsty Thursday here today. So we will say potentially uh, we could come down over the weekend and just test this one more time at the low 50s before banging it up. And if that is the case, uh, I mean, on this chart, it will look kind of bad. But if we look on like CME or something, right? Um, the let's say we close around here let's say we close around here on cme on the friday then we come down over the weekend cme is really what matters right so as long as that ascending triangle maintains its kind of structure on cme and we come back up by the end of the weekend uh, it would just be a weekend trap towards the downside and then we continue towards the upside right and this is something that is probably quite likely to happen here if we can't break through over the next few days uh, so just be careful of that uh, and again that's the plan coming through and in terms of my next bigger position here uh, i'm basically looking to break over that 68k zone this rounded blue box zone as you guys know i did explain yesterday uh, throughout the video basically what this is so yeah go back to that video if you wanted to check that out and, uh, and really learn what i'm doing here because uh yeah we're here to learn at the end of the day and uh, if you guys can get some value out of that for free that's awesome right so uh yeah 68k here if that breaks we get over there it looks good with a nice measure move as well and again we've got this massive uh channel slash wedge coming through as well so if we have this right if we have this uh, that lines up perfectly to just be like bap 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 take profits all the way uh, close that trade up there and expect the uh the pullback as we have done pretty much the entire run here whenever we hit these bad boys right big bap down okay uh struggling big bap down okay big chicken bap wrap down towards the downside here uh, even this one a little bit of a pullback despite being in a massive uptrend with a lot of momentum right so important areas to be taking profit are these blue box zone this is prominent this is something we've seen throughout the run and not just throughout the run uh, throughout previous runs as well okay uh, and that's obviously not previous runs but i don't want to go too far back in case it freezes because trading view isn't isn't actually like the best uh when you've got this much drawing on it which is unfortunate but um yeah i mean hopefully technology improves over time right uh but yeah that's that's kind of what we're looking at here we are still in this bigger structure this channel here so if that does come through if that does come through towards the upside uh that was that measure move coming through uh, all the way up here t taking profit around that 78 probably 80k by the time we get up there and that again will be another mental barrier but i do think that time probably they'll have a quick drawdown get everyone bearish expecting some more sideways and then probably just bang it up for the for the remainder of the run here in the next month and, and that's that's probably my my longer term prediction here uh but again certain tick boxes need to be ticked for that to happen uh and obviously to take trades and trade that it needs to be healthy and it needs to be good right uh, and we do still have that anvil hanging over us to potentially come down to 50k and if that is the case that's the other trade we're looking for right so we're looking for a trade potentially up here or we're looking for a trade potentially down here where we come down we trap uh, we get above the blue box zone again we rinse and repeat coming all the way up here uh take profit each one of those lines close that trade up at 65 and if we do continue up from there uh, obviously we'll have new patterns right and it will actually be a bit more um how do we let us just get this right it would actually be a bit more if we did something like this it would be a bit more par parallel here uh, as a pattern so it'd be a lot better for a measure move uh, and that in itself if we did come up after that and take a trade here and then have a bit of a resistance here and then eventually break over that blue box zone we could actually uh, get a nice beautiful trade here potentially uh, through two blue box zones here uh, if that is the case right uh, so this is the next this is pretty much the whole plan here that we've we've, we've gone through today uh, and yeah obviously if we have a major crash here we, we're expecting that bull market barrier as we talked talked about yesterday right go back and watch that video if you want more info on that but yeah uh, we expect that bull market barrier to catch us if we do get a major crash uh, and then we'll just be longing from there right and just making copious amounts of cash here copious amounts of cash here right that's bitcoin all right so let's let's talk about ethereum because ethereum wasn't looking so hot okay it was looking a little bit cold actually but iced out ethereum coming through here we can say that uh yeah it's also testing that 55 if we can maintain and get back above i want to say 
I want to say here. The thing is, the problem with this, right? Uh, I want to say, I want to say like a, a 2050, right? And that would be good. That would be better. Um, it wouldn't be confirmed because this is so choppy and this is disgusting, right? Um, we didn't play out the measure move towards the downside. Uh, but again, we're in a bull market. We say this all the time, right? If we're in a bull market, measure moves towards the downside don't always play out uh, because of the upwards pressure and whales just leaving uh, buy orders down here, right? So when they hit those buy orders, it's just going to push us up and create upwards pressure. Uh, so the measure moves aren't going to be uh, hit as much, right? So that's just supply and demand kind of stuff, right? So uh, yeah, we could still come down here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we do have the volume weighted ATR down, band down here. But overall, right now, if we can come back up here, we're going to be looking for a different measure move. And obviously, uh, this is pretty much done. Okay, so if we are looking at this, uh, what can we see? What can we do here? Uh, probably not a lot. <laughs> probably not a lot. Maybe uh, some kind of ascending triangle forming like this, right? Uh, and then if this trend line holds, uh, potentially some resistance around that uh, 20, 21, yeah, the, the 2150 area, uh, maybe bringing in some kind of ascending triangle structure here. But again, it's not great. It's not fantastic here right now. Um, so we'll have to see how this goes. It might just be a, a quick parabolic run up. Uh, and then something like that, and then we'll get a, a nice little wave up here, and this measure move is a donezo's. Donezo's here. It's done. <laughs> right? So that is the case here for Ethereum. But again, really with Ethereum, if we look at the midterm, right, uh, you're looking to reclaim this area, which does kind of line up with that, that potential high as well. So if we can do that, uh, yeah, we could be looking at a nice little run up here. And obviously that bigger structure here for Ethereum is this ginormous, gargantuan channel here uh, towards the upside. And if that is the case, uh, yeah, we're looking at potential $3,000. Ethereum. That's crazy. That is crazy. I remember this coin was $90. <laughs> I didn't buy it. <laughs> I didn't buy it. But yeah, what can you do there? What can you do there? Still bought it and made money with it. Don't get me wrong, but not 90. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it. That's the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Drop a like on there if you are uh, a regular, because it does help us grow and help more people together, right? Uh, we're a community at the end of the day. That's cool. And again, we've got the Telegram uh, chat if you are new, right? If you do want to learn from other people as well, uh, we do have a great, thriving, tightly knit community in there of about 400 people. Uh, that Yeah, it's not like two crazy chats like the Moon Kyle's chats or anything like that. It's, it's like a, maybe a couple messages an hour, which is cool, right? You hear everyone's opinions. You hear uh, a valid traders opinions which is important right uh, and it's just fun right it's fun Che ta in there it's all good right so if you want to do that that's cool i do want to say those of you that attended the webinar yesterday your sale will end on tuesday so uh yeah take advantage of that if you want uh, and anyone else that's an indicator person who uh is uh, actually like a, a, a profitable trader right and, and wanted to take advantage of the sale it is the last week of the sale here uh, and these are the prices on your screen feel free to pause the video and take a look at that drop me a message t.me slash hamilton underscore bitcoin beads wild word right there okay uh, and then uh, yeah i can i can get you involved with that and again it's 80 percent off of everything right now and we're also doing the lifetime access which uh we, we weren't like, I'm probably not going to do that again. Maybe when we hit 10K, maybe I'll do a few out there. But there's only like five or six of those left. So, yeah, if you would like that, then uh, be quick with it because uh, there are a lot of people interested in it. Um, and, yeah, I have already reserved a few of them. But, again, if they don't sell, they'll, they'll be unreserved and whatever, right? But, yeah, if, if you wanted that, lifetime access to all of the indicators as an indicator vendor. Bitcoin Beast is a business at the end of the day, right? It needs to make money. Uh, so, yeah, if you're completely new, don't buy it. I'm not going to sell it to you, to be honest. It's, it's not why the indicators are there. They're not signal machines. Um, but if you are a profitable trader, if you would like the setup I have and you know how to use it, right, then that's cool, right? Uh, this is for you. Anyone else, feel free to just continue learning with the free content, right? That's what it's here for <laughs> at the end of the day. So, yeah, that's going to be it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. And goodbye. From Bitcoin Beats.